Hi, everyone. Whoa. Wow. Thank you, everyone who has joined the channel. To those who have been here for a while, thanks for sticking with it. I hope you continue to enjoy the work I put out. To the new subscribers, welcome. Check out my earlier videos and stay tuned for new ones. Now, how about a little bit of behind the scenes? People sometimes ask me how I come up with an idea. The answer is usually that I look at an object, or several objects, and get an inspiration for what it can become. Well, where do these objects come from? Let me show you a bit of the unorganized chaos that is my inventory of supplies. There really is no organization at all, so I will just show you a random selection. I have a bin of action figures and other toys. These will probably all eventually be converted into monsters for D&D. This old vacuum hose has some cool detail. Hmm, I'm actually going to toss that into another box that I will show later. This bin is I think the leftover parts from my battle wagon. This was a test piece for my old Halloween build. Look at the size of this wheel. Speaking of orcs, maybe I can make an even bigger gargant. A destroyed bike pedal that I found in the gutter. I'm not ashamed. I'm not proud either. A whole bunch of foam from a big set I used in my portal build. I just bought these wooden discs at the dollar store before the lockdown. Oh hey, my Dremel. These metal pieces are from inside an old double cassette deck. That thing was chock full of amazing bits. I hope to use these soon. I have this big bag of minis, or things that will be used as minis. Again, probably made into figures for D&D in the future. I have a ton of board games, and I keep all the punch-out sheets. Who knows? I may want these shapes someday. Anyone recognize the games? These bins may look organized, but someone else actually did the sorting. Look how good these components are. They're from a spray bottle. I can't wait to use them in something. Wow. These really are a mishmash of different things. All you crafters that swear by XPS foam, I see your foam and I raise you 8 ply cardboard. Count them up. More Mega Blocks, Connects, and etc. Many soap dispensers and spray bottles lost their lives to fill this box. Toys, model cars, some small Nerf guns probably full of cool mechanical components, and I like the vents on the back. Here's my basing box. I actually have some real modeling supplies, though they are probably about 30 years old. Remember when you had to melt water effects in a can on the stove? Woodland Scenics remembers. Do you ever just stop on the side of the road and pick up damaged vehicle parts? I think there's some work potential in this headlight. I recently found and disassembled an espresso maker and a handheld vacuum. Some of these bits are super cool. Can't wait to use them. Okay, so this is the box I put together a few days ago as kind of a brainstorm box. I'm trying to think of a project that will use larger containers and other larger junk items that definitely wouldn't be used in miniatures or typically not even in scenery and terrain. I have some ideas that I will share with you soon. These are my recent additions. As you can see, my criteria is pretty liberal. If it is plastic and has any shape, I keep it. Sometimes it isn't even plastic, just a glass that you broke loading the dishwasher, perhaps. I replaced my old French press, so it was added to the pile as well. Would you guys like to see my future hauls and part acquisitions in update videos? Let me know in the comments. So, I hope you enjoyed that little insight into the madness. I'll bring you folks down here again in the future to show you what a typical bits gathering, or as I call it, a shopping trip looks like. Until the next build, thanks again. Stay safe, everyone.